Mystery, a Wan Brothers court date disappears from calendar after being postponed twice by Joshua Kaplan for thegatewaypundit.com. Another day, another plot twist to the Awan Brothers story. Daily Caller reported Luke Rosiak discovered Thursday that the Awan Brothers' next court date scheduled for January 8, 2018, disappeared from the calendar. Strange, the next Awan Brothers court date was supposed to be January 8th after being postponed twice but is not showing on the court's calendar as of now, tweeted Rosiak on Thursday. News of the disappearing court date comes amid a report suggesting Imran Awan ran a car dealership that may have fronted an overseas money laundering op operation. Luke Rosiak of the Daily Caller reports, on its Facebook page, CIA's staff were fake personalities such as James Falls O'Brien, whose photo was taken from a hairstyle model catalog, and Jade Julia, whose image came from a web page called Beautiful, uh, Beautiful Girls Wallpaper. If a customer showed up looking to buy a car from Cars International A, often referred to as CIA, Abid Awan, who was managing partner of the dealership while also earning $160,000 handling IT for House Democrats, would frequently simply go across the street to long-standing dealership called AAA Motors and get one. While Imran and Abita Wan ran their car dealership in Falls Church, Virginia in the early part of the decade. Drug enforcement agency officials a few miles away in Chantilly were learning that the Iranian-linked terrorist group frequently deployed used car dealerships in the U.S. to launder money and fund terrorism, according to an explosive new political expose. In 2010, the CIA dealership took a $100,000 loan from Dr. Ali Al-Attar, who is of Iranian heritage and was a minister in the Iraqi government, according to court records. Al-Attar is a fugitive wanted by the U.S. government. Philip Giardi, a former CIA officer, wrote that Attar was observed in Beirut, Lebanon, uh, conversing with a Hezbollah official in 2012, shortly after the loan was made. Wayne Black, a former law enforcement group supervisor under Janet Reno's public corruption department in Miami, believes the Awans were likely laundering money. Based on the modest way Awan was living, it is my opinion that he was sending most of his money to a group or criminal organization that could very well be connected with the Pakistani government, said Black. My instincts tell me Awan was probably operating a foreign intelligence gathering operation on U.S. soil, Black added. So again, why is uh, this uh, disappearing from the docket? Means that people in the government that are working for the government, that infiltrated the government, is trying to knock this out of sight. But uh, Luke Rosiak caught this. Let's see what takes place, because this seems very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.